Hey, good morning, guys. What's up? Steve Alexander here, out on my morning walk. Love getting out early, getting a little walk in. Only downside is, on these trails out kind of in the country a little bit, is no one's been out before you to knock down all those massive spider webs you keep walking into. But anyway, just got back from an awesome week vacation with my wife out at in Florida, Treasure Island, beautiful place, highly recommend. Um, and uh, we got out every day, got some walking in in the beach, it's just beautiful. And I'm really excited to be back. I'm glad if you popped back here, I'm amazed. Thank you so much for stopping back in, saying hey. Today, just uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys a couple of kind of real foundation and real <coughs> basic. Uh, premiere setup. So it seems like as things have gotten easier, some of the real basic um, system setup stuff kind of gets pushed to the side. So I just kind of talk to you guys a little bit. I'm going to go back to the house here in a minute. We're going to just be poof, we're back there. And uh, two things to help you get set up in premiere right and then make your system work faster. There's two things you can do right off the bat, make life a lot easier, help you avoid a lot of these annoying little like alerts and notification things like lost files, can't find stuff, that kind of stuff. Um, just by setting up your folder structure a certain way and also one quick little trip down to the preference panel. I'm gonna teach you guys a little real quick something on how to uh, get your machine working Fast, fast startup, faster overall performance. It's super easy, super simple. I'm happy to share that with you guys. I'll see you guys back at the house in a little bit. Have a good one. Bye. Hey guys, so welcome back. Here we are back in the uh, living room here. We're still working on some stuff downstairs, which uh, in the next couple weeks we're going to talk about setting up a studio space a little more appropriate than just your living room. Something make it look a little more professional, I guess. But um, I had a great time down in Florida. I got a couple clips I want to show you, so take a look at this before we get started.
that was fun. Hey, uh, so today's Tuesday, and today we're going to do a two for Tuesday. I don't know if we're actually going to be two minutes. We're not going to put a timer down there or anything, but just to give you guys an idea of what you're in for. Um, over the next couple weeks, I want to cover a lot of stuff, and uh, I want to take it step at a time, though. I, I think we're going to get this done, though, in two minutes today, though. I think I'm going to be able to do that. So two things I want to talk about in the two minutes on Tuesday are, um, number one, we're going into Premiere. We're talking about Premiere Pro uh, on your computer or laptop, uh, not on your mobile device or your iPad. It works a little bit different there. Um, but specifically, the reason I'm talking about computers and laptops instead of stuff on your iPads and phones is because they use a different system. It's more it's a cloud-based system, although you can set up um, folders if you'd like. It's a little more complicated. I just don't feel like I have my hands on it when I'm on my iPad and my my uh, phone, whereas on my computer and my laptop, I know exactly where everything is. So first thing, we're going to shoot over to my screen right here. I'm going to show you guys a couple things really quick. Um, and uh, Awesome. So here we are. We have, um, this is an external drive. I have, uh, this is a solid state drive. It's a half a terabyte. And um, in this, I keep a lot of stuff when I'm on the road. So as you can see here, I get my Florida trip folder. And then within that, I kind of organize some stuff where I have all my camera video, my drone footage, Lightroom, stuff I brought onto Lightroom. I did a couple of time lapses and stuff. So I bring them in there, make some adjustments, and then bring those back into Premiere. We'll talk about that probably in another week or so. That's pretty cool. Some cool, cool little tips on how to do that a little more effectively. And then all my photos, they're all on here too. And they're all in here. And I have my raw and my jpegs are in here too so you can see all those but um so this is a big deal it may not seem like a big deal but when you're getting started in premiere you need to create like a home base you need to create a place where you're going to put all your stuff because otherwise if you have stuff you're pulling like photos from one spot and videos from another spot and you don't actually ever bring them in and import them into like your uh, like a base or a root basically folder um you may run into some error issues in premiere not always, but sometimes, and it's more common than you, than not if you don't do that. So create some hierarchy. Number two, kind of a bonus to number one actually, is um, have an external drive. So um, part of this whole system is is things need to work together. So um, you have your external, you know, your external drive. You're seeing here. Here it is, the extreme SSD. I'll show you a picture of that, and I'll link this in the uh, description below as well, so you have that there. But if you go into Premiere, and we pop open Premiere here, um, this is sort of the second big tip is, you wanna create uh, what's called a scratch disk. I'll show you how to get to that, that if you go up into your file and then create a new project, so new project, it's gonna ask you, you'll see, you can name it right here, and then it's under general as default, but if you click on this second one right here, right here, scratch disk, you do not want your scratch disk to be on the same hard drive as your, say your laptop or your computer, or you need an external drive. You want something that's fast like an SSD, and you can just go through and create, go through and click browse on every one of these. Now you can see I already have it set to the SSD. That's that extreme. SSD. It's a SanDisk solid state uh, half a terabyte drive. It's fast. It's super fast. But by doing that, it speeds everything up because it allows your processor to work more efficiently. So if you do that with all these, so your audio capture, video capture, video previews, audio previews, all these different auto saves, all these things go there instead of bogging down on the one drive you're already using, it'll speed things up. So um, I'm not sure. I think, well, we're just over two minutes, but whatever. So, um, so those two things will help you speed up everything in Premiere and make your life way, way easier. Because the reality is, if you start putting stuff in different drives, you may remember today, you might remember tomorrow, but in a month, you're not gonna remember where you put all those different files and different folders that you're using to create one project. So kind of recap here, create a one major main project folder for whatever project you're working on. It doesn't mean that all of your projects need to be in there. As a matter of fact, it may be better that they're not. Um, label stuff, 
create a system that works for you but really important that you bring all of those elements that you're using in your in your videos all into one folder so videos audio sound bytes little clips sequences whatever it is effects put them all into one folder and then within that one folder do 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 you create subfolders within that then when you go into premiere when you start it up make sure that you have a scratch disk separate from your main disk now if you don't have a secondary drive that's fine you don't have it it's fine you, you, you know but but look at picking one up if you're going to invest in premiere and invest in creating videos and content you definitely want to get a second one like i said I'll, I'll link that below and also one one just one little caveat so we're way over two minutes forget the whole two minute thing um my this system will create uh pretty large files um you're gonna have a lot of stuff you're gonna have a lot of folder you know a lot of folders a lot of files and i actually create a redundancy for backups so i have a main file then i back that main file up to a secondary which is a copy of that and i actually have something completely off-site that backs all of that up so i create a lot of a lot of extra work and a lot of extra like megabytes if you will a lot of terabytes even um, so I use something called uh, just just as a tip um, check out backblaze backblaze.com you can go on there I'll, I'll link it below they're awesome it's like five bucks a month and you can literally back up everything on any drive that you keep connected to your computer now the key thing is that anything that you keep connected so it's not like um, like say iPhoto or iMovie where you load something up there and it's there forever um, this is an active uh, linked folder hard drive or file that's connected to a computer or through a computer um, backblaze will keep everything backed up um, and it keeps in a 30-day cycle but if you disconnect a, a drive and like put it on your shelf after 30 days backblaze isn't backing it up anymore so just wanted to be clear there but but that system is phenomenal so if you have a main your main drive backup and then you have your secondary on-site your on-site backup you're pretty golden but then having that off-site so you know hopefully nothing like this ever happens but if there's a fire or someone breaks into your place and you lose all that stuff you still got everything backed up off-site so check them out they're awesome five bucks a month I mean I think I think Scott Kelby mentioned them the first time I heard of them and um, they have been phenomenal like they're incredible I have terabytes worth of stuff backed up on them and they're super easy to work with super easy to use very intuitive so check them out well that's it guys thanks for popping in today hope to see you guys again soon don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and also um, leave some stuff down in the description uh, in the uh, comments below let me know what it is you guys are looking for if you had any questions about today's tutorials on about the scratch disk or uh, about even about setting up folder hierarchy and how that works and how that will speed up your work just um, let me know in your comments below. I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can.